Today we're talking about DeFireX Safe Yield Farming. How can you earn four times more with Compound and Venus in a way that is risk-free? Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing in crypto that is risk-free. There's nothing using a smart contract that is risk-free. But the goal of this project is to be able to allow you to earn higher yields on stable coins and being able to hopefully do it in a way that is safer. I'll put it that way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just a heads up, this is sponsored content, but I've been using this uh, protocol or using this website, this DAP, this app here for several weeks now. I'm going to give you a full review today. We're going to be talking about a little bit about what is DeFiRx Safe Yield Farming? What are they doing? We're going to be talking about, I'm going to share with you some of my results. We're going to talk about the tokenomics. I'm going to compare the earnings here compared to other uh, decentralized platforms. And I'm also going to talk to you about what I believe my final thoughts on using this project for now. Now, DeFireX, they reached out to me a while back, and I'll be honest with you, it took me a, a good minute to figure out exactly what they're doing. But essentially, they're using multiple, and I do mean multiple, smart contracts. And th the purpose of those smart contracts is to be able to take stable coins, like USDT, BUSD, take stable coins, and to be able to stake them on Compound and Venus, if you understand how those DeFi projects work, and then to be able to sell the rewards continue to grow the LP tokens and ultimately grow your yield. The element of risk or leverage is based on how they're compounding on the compound and or the Venus platform, but they're compounding stable coins. So unless there's a major market shift, we should be okay uh, with price action. Uh, our yields will go up and down. Right now they're at 90 something percent. They, I've seen them, I think yesterday or this morning, they were down to 60 something percent. So they can go up or down. The yields can go up or down. As long as the smart contract stays intact, that's another risk. It's a complex smart contract. There is an audit. We'll cover the audit here in a moment. But as long as the smart contract stays intact and there's no issues there um, and there's nothing funky that happens, we should, in theory, relatively speaking, probably be safe. Now, this is not financial advice. Again, this is sponsored content, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not trying to give you financial advice, but I'll share with you my, my full thoughts here. Let's talk about, let's go into a little bit of the tokenomics, and then I want to share with you how DeFireX returns and uh, compare it with stable coins to some other platforms like AutoFarm, Value DeFi, platforms like that on the Binance Smart Chain. And then I'm going to share with you some of my final thoughts and where I've been at, some of my concerns, and what I'm planning to do in the future with this platform. DeFireX, let's talk about the tokenomics. If you come down here, this is kind of a, a, a picture you can pull up and kind of get an idea of what's going on with the tokenomics. They got the contract addresses here. You can watch those come down here. No, there's a DeFireX team doesn't rely on luck. Tokenomics have been carefully thought out to drive growth. There's one thing that I really love about these tokenomics. I'll cover it. I'll tell you my favorite part here in a moment. There's no additional emission. They're saying they're not going to create any more tokens. 75% of distributed teams and private investor tokens are blocking 75% or essentially they're, they're locked up or they're released slowly over time. This is a Russian project. So you'll notice that the English is not perfect. 30% of all project profits go to the buyback of DFX. That's good. We'll talk about that in a moment. Total DFX token supplies 10 million. Additional mission is not possible. Starting price of placement on PancakeSwap was $2. It started at $2. Currently, it's around $6. It, the price, I, I don't think I've seen the price below $5. It bounced around between, right now, it's been bouncing around the past couple of weeks between like mid five dollars and mid six dollar range the dfx busd pancake swap pool will immediately replenish with five hundred thousand total volume locked from the private round funds ten percent of the total dfx farming volume is allocated to the team thirty percent of all platform profits go to dfx buyback i'll talk about this in a moment i really like this all dfx generated from this buyback will be distributed through the dfx staking pool see this is a part that i like at first i thought they were buying back and burning they're not buying back and burning they go right here to the pool but it's not just this pool i think it goes to right here as well farming because you hear you're farming the DFX token. So th these rewards, even though there's no further admissions, they're actually buying back. When you get your 98.6%, they take 30% out of your profit. Now, this is already calculating that 30%. They take 30% out of your profit. That 30% is used by the team to buy more DFX tokens off the general market. Those DFX tokens they buy off the market, of course, helps keep the price up, but then they redistribute those to people that are staking and or farming 
on the platform. That's my understanding. I think that's a really smart tokenomic. I really like that a lot. It means that you can continue earning potentially well into the future for one thing. And it also means that it's encouraging people who are already holders by giving them more tokens to possibly hold. So you're not, you're, the, the people that are staking and yield farming uh, tend to be less likely to sell than say the general you know, trader on the market. Current system liquidity is 16 million. Average APY for January 2021 was 29%. We're higher than that. Platform average operating profit per month, $80,000. Check it out. We can see that right here. Pro daily profit is 76000 so right around the $80,000 mark. Oh, this is per operating profit per month. They're higher than that now. This is daily. And they, they're, maybe their profit is 30% of that, which is still high, higher than $80,000. Token distribution, early liquidity providers get 1%. We've already talked about that. Of the 20, 25% that will be available immediately. Okay, so this is a team, 20%. 25% will be available immediately. The process of auto unlocking the remaining 75% will begin in 21 days and equal parts of 0.25% per day and will end in 10 months. Same thing with the uh, private round, 30%. 25% of them will be available immediately. 75% of the auto unlock process will begin in 21 days and equal parts of 0.5% per day and will end in five months. So here's the big thing. The big thing is we're earning a token that has a limited supply. They're not going to be creating anymore. And they're actively using the profits on the platform to buy the token back off the marketplace. That's what they say in that Medium article. I personally don't have any way to prove that. You probably can go through, look at the contracts and see. I can tell you in three weeks of using this platform, the price have, has been relatively stable. That's a plus for me. APY has been good for a stable coin, it's been excellent. I absolutely love this project so far, as far as their earnings are concerned. They've made improvements since I've been here, but before I go into that and tell you what I like, because I want to tell you what I like and what I don't like, but I want to first compare it to some of the competitors. I'm going to compare this to Auto Farm and Value DeFi because they have a similar concept in the fact of they use, their, it's not the exact same strategies, but they use a method of auto compounding of various liquidity pools, to be able to help grow your account. So there's a certain amount of compounding that takes place. Those platforms also have much higher than normal returns on stable coins like BUSD or USDT. First up is Auto Farm. Let's go look at BUSD. Right now, BUSD on Auto Farm is paying out about 45% APY. Value DeFi. Value DeFi is, uh, it says 153%. I'm assuming this is accurate. I will tell you this is only the second time I've ever seen Value DeFi paying out higher because I look at this often. Yeah, they're still saying 153%. So this is high on Value DeFi, but I will say most of the time when I check, DeFi X is still higher than Value DeFi, just so you know. And you got to ask yourself, which tokenomics do you like better? Do you like the DFX tokenomics better or the Value DeFi token? Uh, for me personally, I like Value DeFi as a general, as a project. I'm actually in several of those liquidity pools, which I'm not, it's outside the scope of this, this video. But for BUSD right now, I'm sitting in DeFire X. In fact, I'll go ahead and tell you where I'm at. If you you may have already seen it, I've actually added. So I first put in a thousand dollars into this uh, BUSD. The day one, they've made some improvements. I want to talk about this because this is some of what I like. I put in a thousand dollars. These are my pending rewards. I got about 440, and then this is uh, roughly 0.65 of a token that's selling for six dollars. So if you look at this, this is over three dollars. This is uh, probably seven. I'm probably getting about. 750 i guess 758 dollars something like that right now this has been about a 24 hour period since i claimed these rewards last so you know there, there's about where i'm at right now on three thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars so i put in a thousand dollars when i first put in a thousand dollars the next day i went to withdraw it wasn't clear how to withdraw it just wasn't clear at all and they made improvements improvements were great now you can claim separately you can claim your busd you can withdraw if you want you can withdraw all of it you click withdraw now, I am not withdrawing any of it. I'm just earning right now. Once I saw how they made improvements, I put back in 100 bucks. I waited a couple of days, kind of tested out the platform. Then I was like, okay, I think I like this. And the reason that I like it, I like that I feel like this BUSD here is pretty safe. I feel like I can get access to it. I don't have any proof. There is an audit. We'll show you the audit in a moment. But I think the BUSD is pretty safe. I'm, I, I think that I'm probably not going to lose that BUSD. So I feel pretty confident about that. Again, not a financial advisement for you. Do your own research. I mean, you can come up here. You can look at their wiki. You can go look at the different pools. You can look at their guarantees. You can go through all this info and make a decision for yourself. So I, I like that the BUSD is sitting here. I like that I can claim profit. And it's not that hard to claim the profits. Literally, come here, click, click claim profits. Claim only Oh, this is new. I like this. So you can claim only DFX. This is brand new since uh, a couple of days ago or yesterday. Claim only DFX or claim all. I like that. 
That's super cool. So you can claim the profits. You can continue to compound. That's a good thing. That's great. You can claim the profits and sell the DFX token. You can, I recommend that you sell it on one inch exchange if you're going to sell it somewhere. I don't know anywhere else that you can use a stable coin and earn these kind of rewards, even 60%. And sometimes it goes just over 100%, but most of the time it's around the 80 to 90% range since I've been a part of this project. I'm going to continue to add to this and I'll tell you why. I actually think the cryptocurrency market is very high and now's the time to start taking some profits, at least a small percentage of my portfolio, 10, 20, 30% I like to start putting into to stable coins around now. And if we continue to go up, great. But when we pull back, I want to be able to have some powder dry to buy in at lower levels. So I really like the idea that I am taking risk because we're compounding this. We're using leverage. They're selling the Venus token and the compound token to be able to help me generate these rewards. Um, so there is a little bit of leverage there. There is a little bit of risk, but I like, I'm willing to take that risk to be able to earn 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred percent APY. I'm fully willing to do that. I'm watching the price of the token because ultimately this token price affects our APY by a lot. If the token price goes up, this number goes up. The APY percentage contributed to farming goes up. If the token price drops in half, then it's going to cut this in half. So I'm going to pay attention to it. Now, 54% is still good, but I'm going to pay attention to what this uh, DFX token does. I have been claiming my DFX tokens and I've been dropping them over here. I don't have many yet. Just want to hold the token and see what it does. I don't recommend you do that if you're not comfortable with the platform. You just withdraw them, just sell them on one inch if you want to. That's all you have to do. Um, but I'm going to continue to do that for now anyway until I watch this token price. If it looks like it's going down, maybe I'll sell some. But I like the fact that I'm earning 92.49% uh, here. And I like the tokenomic that basically of all the, the ones they buy back, which is going to help put, hold the price up is what it should do. I'm going to get those back as rewards right here. I really like that. There's nothing to claim here. They, they basically just auto compound right here and you can withdraw however many you want should you choose to withdraw them at some point in the future. That's what I'm doing right here. Now, there's a couple things I don't like about the project and then I'll tell you my thoughts about it going forward in the future. So a couple things that I don't like. There are multiple contracts here. Now, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It makes it very easy. But if, if you go look at my other videos and some of my subscribers pointed this out, you'll see that my transaction fees were very expensive for the Binance Smart Chain. Now, why is that? Well, it's actually normal. It's because if you've ever tried to use Compound or you ever uh, on Ethereum, for example, and you try to use the Compound protocol, you, you'll realize very, very quickly gas fees are high on those type of platforms, especially for Ethereum, like high, 200 300 400 dollars for one transaction in some cases, just one transaction is what it can cost over there on Ethereum. When when a normal transaction of just sending crypto could be maybe 40, 50 bucks over there. Over here, you may see a transaction cost as high as, you know, 10, 15, 12, 20, 30 dollars, whatever. You can see some high transaction costs when you're depositing over here. Or maybe it was uh, 12 dollars, I think was what came up on the video. But you're going to see that sometimes. Like it's like 0 0.02 BNB or something. Transaction fee 0 0.026. That's they're telling you what it's going to cost you and and it's a total it's multiple transactions but it's going to end up being a total of 0 0.026. That is normal. And that's normal because of the operations on the Binance smart chain. I don't love that, but it it makes it easy. And, and meaning even if it was smart contract didn't do it for me, it would still be two or three or four transactions I would have to do all of my own and I would have to know exactly how to do that. It's still going to be 0 0.026 when it's all said and done with. And maybe even more because they their smart contract is designed to help optimize some of the transaction fees. So that's one thing that I don't like, but it's just a necessary evil. I'm willing to pay that to earn 98% APY, I promise you. I'm willing to pay that to pay 50% APY, I promise you, in, in a stable coin. But that is one thing that I don't love. The other thing that I don't really like about the project a lot, if I'm gonna be very transparent here, let me just be, if you come over here, you go to guarantees, you can take a look at check audit of smart contract. They have been audited. And you can read through this whole audit. Here's the part that I don't love, the last page. And they, they respond to it, and I give them props for posting it. Like, it's not like they're trying to hide it. They didn't delete a page. Who would know? What's pessimistic going to do about them deleting a page? So, notes, overpowered owner. In deposits, DF deposit token contract, DFX deposit token contract, the owner can mint tokens to any address or burn them without any limitation. On the surface, the reason this is bad is because this is essentially what a rug pull would do. They would have a mint function, they'd create a whole bunch of tokens, they'd sell those tokens on the market, and then basically dump the price 
and that they would have some profit and they'd run away with the profit. If someone wanted to do that, that's how they would do it. The developers have a comment here. They said they we cannot remove the mint because owner is DFI, DF tokenized deposit. It is our protocol logic. I don't understand this. It's over my technical capabilities. Remove the burn will increase gas consumption for user. Must send approved before burn. So they're saying if we remove the burn, it's going to increase gas cost. You have to approve the burn anyway. There's no logic to transfer token ownership in this contract. However, DF tokenized deposit contract is upgradable and therefore its logic may change. But the upgrade process is beyond the scope of this audit. So I, I think this is from the auditor again. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't love this. I don't, you know, I mentioned it in, to, uh, I mentioned it with the, the marketing person who reached out to me. And basically I got something similar to this back in more English terms, I guess, meaning plainer speaking, not complicated tech jargon. I, I don't love it. I, I give them props for putting it out here, but I don't love it. Now, all that being said, for me personally, this is not like all of my, you know, this $3,760 or whatever. It's This isn't like all of my crypto. I wouldn't put all of my BUSD over here. And I'm not telling you to put any in here. But I'm willing to, well, going forward, what I'm looking to do is I'm going to use this as a bit of a savings account for a minute. I'm going to build this up and then I'm going to just kind of hold it and hope that everything goes well. Uh, and it's so far so good kind of thing. Um, they keep making improvements to the platform where they don't have to. I like that. And by the way, what I just showed you about the DFX function, it does put the DFX at risk if, you know, those security concerns could, in theory, put the DFX token at risk. However, my BUSD should be fine as long as the smart contract is solid. But again, I'm not putting all my BUSD value in here. I recognize that even if the devs are good, there are nefarious actors in the world, and if there's an exploit in the contract, someone could always find it. I'm always aware of that in crypto, always. So I'm not going to come over here and drop you know, $30,000 in here. Just not going to do it, nor would I ever. But I am willing to put a smaller percentage over here because in the course of a year to get 98%, and that's before compounding, but to get 98% of $3,000 is an extra $3,000. If I can pull that off, that'd be awesome. For now, what I'm going to do is continue to stack a little bit. I'm going to continue to add to this personal probably get up to about five thousand dollars and i'm going to continue to put my dfx in here for now and just kind of see just speculating on what's going to happen with the token price see if it goes up we'll see where it goes that's what i'm going to be doing for now um, i like this project i want i hope it continues to do well hopefully everything stays intact we'll have to continue to see where it goes from here um, i like being able to log in and look i will tell you that you'll see this price tick down sometimes and tick back up but ultimately it it tends to go up, up, up over time. I mean, I like that a lot. And if this project continues to stick around for the next year, who knows? Next year to this time, I might make a video and I've got, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 sitting up in here earning 98% APY or even 50% APR. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. This has been DeFireX Safe Yield Farming. This is their project. Overall, I like the project. I understand the risk. I recommend you do your own personal research. Ladies and gentlemen, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.